guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are excited for today's video. I know I always say this, but I hope you guys are. <laughs> Today we're going to be reviewing Maybelline Superstay Stick Foundation. Yes, you heard it. Stick Foundation. I recently purchased, went out and purchased two different um, foundation sticks because I wasn't sure which shade I'd be, you know, summertime or going into fall. I feel like I'm in between shades. So I purchased Natural Beige 220 and Warm Sun 334. They look, the packaging looks like this. On one end it has the stick foundation and then the other end it comes with a little sponge as you can tell I've used it. <laughs> but the sponge looks like this. Sorry for it to be dirty. Um, and it's supposed to, you're supposed to use the foundation stick and blend out with the little sponge. So we're going to try it out today. I'm going to tell you what I think. And what I love about it, it's $8.99, so it's super affordable, which I love. You know, drugstore foundation. And it also is supposed to have 24-hour coverage. It also supposed to be medium, uh, medium to full coverage. Obviously, it's buildable. And it's supposed to have a powder finish. And what I also love about it is that since they have so many different shades, you can honestly contour with them. Like, you can do so many things. It's not just foundation. You can use it as a concealer. You can use it as a contour stick. You can do so much. So I'm super excited to do this video and share with you guys my thoughts and opinions. Um, I do want to let you guys know that I've never used a foundation stick ever, so I'm really excited to try it out. I also, as you guys know, I have hyperpigmentation on the top of my cheekbones, and I don't know if you can t notice right now, but I have, I broke out, I have pimples around my mouth. <laughs> so, we're going to see if it's going to cover what I'm going to have to be going through, if it's going to be blendable or whatnot. So, um, you can find them at Target, Walmart, at Ulta, they are $8.99, I will have their information linked down below. As always, you guys, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, <laughs> like the video if you found it somehow useful or entertaining whatsoever. Also, don't forget to share, share it with a friend, share the love, and as always, thank you so much for watching. Let's get started. started. The two foundation sticks that I purchased that I mentioned before is Natural Beige number 220 and what is the other one? Warm Sun number 334. I honestly am really excited to try these out. Um, I've never tried foundation sticks before like I mentioned two before. Um, I'm really excited to try out the little sponge at the end of this um, foundation stick just because I feel like it's going to be really easy for me to blend out my makeup like around the nose and around the eye area. Um, I'm just really excited. It feels really, really soft to the touch. So I'm just really excited because I typically always have to look for my beauty blender. And if my beauty blender sponge kind of is already here, that's even better. <laughs> it saves me time looking for it. It saves me the, you know, the cost of it, I guess. Even though we all know that it'd be really hard to clean this little sponge at the end. Um, just because you can't remove it and like replace it or just remove it and really clean it. It's because it's going to be stuck on there. So that's the only thing you kind of have to think in the back of your mind when you are purchasing this. Um, because it's kind of like unhygienic in a sense. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and swatch them on. So I bought two because I feel like I'm in between shades right now since you know we're transitioning from fall into to uh, from summer to fall so I feel like I've been kind of you know changing a little bit of color so I'm not sure what shade I am right now so we're gonna go ahead and swatch first the natural beige hold on a second I think it broke off did it break off <gasps> I think it broke off you guys so we're gonna have to be really gentle with it I think it like melted off when I purchased it and lifted my car mm. sorry <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and swatch it. So far it looks like it's my shade on my skin. Let's go ahead and swatch the other one. The other one's going to be Warm Sun number 334. So that is the other one. That is way too dark. <laughs> that is orange, really, really tan, but it does look like it has... Like a really, like this would be a really cool shade probably to contour with. I feel like it's a little too dark for me though. A little too orange. But this would be a really cool stick to use to contour. Let's go ahead and start blending that out. If you see me looking towards this side, it's because my mirror is right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and start blending this out. So far the sponge feels really, really good on the skin. It doesn't feel rough. It doesn't feel too stiff whatsoever. And I feel like the foundation feels, like I don't even feel like I have anything on my skin at all right now. And I feel like it's blending really well. Um, I don't notice, like it just feels really powdery. 
Um, so I like that. I like it because I almost feel like I don't need to add powder after. So let me go ahead and apply this all around. And as you can tell, I have hyperpigmentation on the top of my cheekbones. And I also have some pimples that have just came, you know, to visit recently. So covering them is going to be something I definitely want to make sure and see if it even covers because apparently this foundation is made for oily, from normal to oily skin and it's also meant to be buildable and to have 24 hour coverage. So I am all about having 24 hour coverage because we are all busy, busy people and wants to be doing their makeup like twice a day or something, you know? So if it's going to be long lasting that I hardly need to worry about retouching, even better. So this is really blending out really nicely. I feel like it's covering my hyperpigmentation, which as you know is one of my problem areas. And for me, that's a deal breaker. If my foundation will not cover my hyperpigmentation, then I'm sorry, I, I can't work with that. <laughs> that is like a big deal for me. It has to cover, help me cover my hyperpigmentation. The last thing I want to do is apply a whole bunch of product. I want to find something that I don't have to apply too much product on my face, but enough that will cover it. Like, it's covered my foundation enough that all I have to do is apply a little bit of concealer. My pimples look like they're decently covered. A little bit of, of concealer will help, and then I can just take care of the rest. I honestly don't even feel like I really need any powder because it just has a really powdery finish on the skin. It doesn't feel like... I don't feel like I have a lot of product on so far. I don't feel dry. I feel like it just was so easy to blend. And this little sponge, I feel like it it's worked. I'm surprised. You know, especially when you're trying out a new sponge or a new product, sometimes it doesn't work. But this works, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup off camera. When I come back, I will give you my final thoughts and opinions and what I think and how my makeup has worked turned out so far. Keep in mind it takes me about 45 minutes to do my entire makeup routine. I know it takes time. Um, so I'm hoping with these lights and everything that I have in front of me, my makeup won't oxidize or break down. So I will give you all the dirt on what I'm noticing, how it's reacting with the other products that I'm using, and just pretty much how it's just, you know, wearing throughout my hour. Here we go. <laughs> So, so far, I did my makeup with all of my lights, my whole entire setup, my mirrors right here, so I've just been doing my makeup the entire time, and so far, I will give you my final thoughts and opinions. It has a beautiful powder finish. I feel like it is definitely medium to full coverage. You can definitely build upon it and cover those, you know, those areas that, you know, aren't you know, our best features, like our pimples and like hyperpigmentation. I definitely feel like it covered my hyperpigmentation. I did a really good job with the concealer. I felt like I just uh, added a little bit of concealer just to brighten certain areas around my face. Um, but so far, I don't notice it. You know, I didn't feel like it oxidized whatsoever. I don't feel like it broke down or like creased anywhere yet. Um, and so far, I don't feel like I have a lot on my face. Like sometimes when you apply foundations or certain products, you feel like you have a lot of product on your face. Like you feel really caked. Um, I don't feel caked on or whatsoever. I don't feel like a cake. I don't feel like I have a bunch of makeup on my face, even though... 
you know, that's debatable. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So far, I really love it. I would definitely recommend it to you guys. For the price, $8.99, I honestly think it's a steal. Um, as for the packaging, I love the packaging. You know, it saves you some money than buying a beauty blender to have that's rolling around in your makeup bag, you know, building up bacteria. <laughs> um, but same thing as this. This will definitely build up bacteria, like I said before. You can't remove it. I have tried, and it doesn't come off. Um, so this will be something you'll have to be really cautious in how you'll clean. But I do love the sponge. It is really, really soft. I feel like it's just, like, if they can make a beauty blender that's the same texture as this, Maybelline, you got me. <laughs> so I really love the little sponge. I feel like I was able to really blend um, the foundation really easily with it. So I love that it's already there and it has a little top for it. As for the foundation stick, and sorry that it's so dirty because I didn't realize that it broke like it's not really connected to it but I do want to spin it and show you not a lot of product comes when you purchase the stick foundation um, so I don't really know how long it will last obviously it depends on how much foundation you know how much you use this and how much product you add in your face but so far I like it I like the, the color matched really well on my skin complexion. I like how it's, it has a beautiful powdery finish that I don't feel like I have to add powder on my face. And I feel like it does cover really well. So that's something to consider. We'll see how long it lasts me. This is going to be my new everyday foundation. <laughs> so we'll see how long it lasts. I will have linked everything down below. If you guys have any questions, as always, leave me any comments. I'm here to help you and answer any of your questions you guys might have. Don't forget to like the video if you found out somehow useful or entertaining. And as always, don't forget to share. <laughs> Maybe share it with your mom or a friend. And as always, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I am over the moon that we have a thousand subscribers. I can't believe like a thousand people somehow liked me and <laughs> decided to subscribe. So thank you everyone for watching my videos. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.